This is like my German grandmother. Minha avó alemã. Minha avó alemã. É? Good morning, everyone. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming out from Curitiba, Brazil. Today we are driving five hours to Florianopolis. On the way, we're stopping in Blumenau, like the German city. Lots of beer, lots of German food. I'm excited, I'm pumped. Pumped you, and I'm ready to roll to the road, man. Let's go. Three hours, right? right? Three hours, yeah. Rock and roll. Let's go. So what are we gonna see on this three hour journey? Like a place to eat, right? Maybe, maybe. I think so. It's early. It's early, but maybe like early lunch, like by 10, 30, 11 in the morning. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Probably that truck ran into the red light. The truck ran the red light and ran into the bus. Yes. And there's actually... Or the bus ran into the red light. I right? mean, it's insane. That was yeah. insane. We don't know. Oh my God. I've actually, I've seen a lot more accidents on this trip than I've ever seen in my life. Yes. People drive a little while, right? People drive a little while and people drive very aggressive, you know? Brazilian people are well known for like very friendly people, but once they, they are in the car, man, I don't know what happened, it changed, you know? So we had an amazing 36 hours here in Curitiba. We explored nonstop, we ate a lot of food. Basically, it's a foodie city, right? Foodie yes. city. Tons of food, I mean, in terms of attractions, um, unfortunately for us, we were there on a Monday, so a few things were closed that we really wanted to see, like the, the Central Market, you know, we saw the Town Gardens. We got a lot of rain. We got a lot of rain. Some cold. Some cold, I mean, the Four <laughs> Seasons. Beautiful city though, definitely highly suggest you come oh, out here. Absolutely, man. If you're gonna do a road trip from Sao Paulo down to Florianopolis, stop here for at least a night. I would say two full nights because of the road. It takes five hours to get from Sao Paulo to here, yeah. and five hours to get to Florianopolis from here. So it's a long way if you're gonna go straight from Sao Paulo to Florianopolis. Some people, you know, most people drive, uh, yeah. sorry, fly. It's yeah. also like a co coffee town, right, man? It's like for coffee lovers. Yeah. They, they, they make good coffee, right? So yeah, it's a place to come to eat and explore the nature. It's it's fun. Definitely worth it to visit, man. I highly recommend as well. And like a true Brazilian, he's having pan de queijo and coffee. <laughs> this one is okay, kind of dry, but fair enough. It's called San Jose dos Pinhais. There's like a huge Italian influence, right? And they also have a really good Italian food and a lot of farmers, you know, huge in agriculture. Yeah, so this is like the main road to get out of the city and then go to Blumenau. It's uh, four lanes, four lanes, all commercial all around us. Lots of vehicle, like lots of dealerships for different uh, car dealerships. Fast food chains. Fast food chains, outlets, and that's basically what this is for a little while until we completely get out and then we're gonna get a lot of green. Yes, a lot of green, a lot of waterfalls. Man, it's beautiful this part of the country, you know? It's amazing. And I didn't mention earlier, Curitiba is the capital of the state of Para Paraná. 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 And we're gonna enter the state of Santa Catarina. Yes, Santa Catarina, man, is well known for uh, the old blondie, right? Most of the people. And then we get into like uh, more into like Portuguese uh, influence and German as well because of Blumenau, right? 30 minutes outside of Curitiba and we are on a massive highway going through a jungle. It's like a forest, mountain, lots of hills, lots of lush, green, super green. Again, it rains like crazy out here. Yes, it's a lot of green, man. And like, what can we expect for the next two hours here? Man, I think we're just gonna see like a lot of uh, places to eat, like uh, churrascaria. So every 30 minutes, there's like a gas station with a steakhouse. Uh, a lot of green and on the right hand side of the road there are a lot of waterfalls you know that we can stop we're probably not going to stop today because it's raining cold and on the left hand side in a few minutes we will be able to see also the ocean the atlantic ocean now we're driving through the forest this reminds me of florida at certain points where the road sort of splits so you know, we're going this way, it's a one way. The other part of the road is on like the other side of this hill across from the jungle. Um, German feeling similar to Florida in certain parts because, you know, obviously in Florida, no hills and always sunny. 
It's actually the sun's coming out now. Yes. It's really beautiful. But eventually we're gonna see the ocean. Yeah, we're to the expecting left. good weather for the next uh, three days actually. Yeah. Yeah. So, so everything in Florida is gonna be sunny. Yes. Oh man, I can't wait. German food, German beer, and then we're gonna have seafood all day for like three days. All day. Oh god. Seafood. That's one thing people. Uh, Shrimp, lobster. People don't talk fish. about the seafood in Brazil, and you have a huge coastline. It's yeah, crazy. yeah. Actually, north northeast of Brazil, south, uh, they talk a lot about seafood. Rio, we have to import, which is kind of far, you know, from the capital, you know. But we're still eating, but it's expensive, you know. But here it's quite cheap. You'd be so impressive, like so cheap, you know, like so affordable, you know. Yeah, it's just a place for you to stop to get like food and drinks, coffee, maybe some meat for breakfast. Why not? If they have pan de queijo. I'm down. Pau de Cajun, they also have some souvenirs. Look at that. Like, yeah. Oh, great. Let's do this. I'm hungry. Oh, this is awesome. So if you want to buy, uh, I guess this is what you use to like grind up the cassava, right? So these are skins, huh? Yeah. Cow hides. Cow, how much for these cow hides? 550, like a hundred dollars. Wow. Yeah. It's actually, it's actually really sad, the cow hides. Yeah. Let's go get some food. Let's go. Mask on. See what they got in here. Okay, so it's a market. It's not just a place to eat. So they sell chips, nuts, chocolates. Oh, really nice. Oh, I love this. Look at this, dude. This is cool. This is piece of wood. So these are signs for like the different uh, football teams, right? Yeah. And if you guys didn't know, in this area, they produce a lot of wine. And here they have huge jugs of wine. So vino de mesa. So, you know, house wine. And then they also have over here, Vino Colonial, so this is more like a, you know, fruit, honey wine. I don't know exactly what this is. So I guess it's more like Aguardiente. So, you know, liquor. Man, here it's like a lot of food, a lot of souvenir. Look, a lot of bags of uh, candy. So instead of Chapolines, they have candies, right? <laughs> but it reminds a lot the Chapolines bag. Look, I would love to have lunch, but lunch is only at 11, you know? They also have the, the tamales, man. Do you want to try the tamales? Okay. Yeah, tem pamonha. Tem doce. Vê uma doce, então, por favor. Perfect. So, Brazilian yeah, tamales. Okay. And over here, they have lots of cheese for sale, and they have salami. The salami smells amazing. It's picante. It's picante. Picante, no. Si, no? Creo que no. Looks good, though. Look at this. Huge. So, it's 37, so like six, seven dollars for this. Oh, no, it's 24. Salami Italiano. Si, eso es como chicharrón. Oh, it's like chicharrón? Man, these are like all the boards of the... some of the main teams from the south uh, region of Brazil, as well as Sao Paulo team. It costs $10, I don't think it's heavy. I think if you feel like, take it as a souvenir, you know. 10 bucks? Yeah, it, lo it feels a little light. Yeah, it feels light. Uh, maybe I take one. For 10 yeah. bucks? I mean, what a deal. And they also have candies, I mean... What a cool stop, huh? Yeah, oh, look cool. at look at the barrels here. Yeah. Whoa. It's pretty cool. Reserva artesanal. Is that? Can we try a drink? I think so. Yeah. Let me check. So this is not wine. This is cachaça, which is sugarcane liquor. Very very similar to like tequila, rocky. I mean, a little more smoky, so like more tequila style. Okay, my friends, I'm trying cachaça, cachaça, cachaça. Oh, honey, no? mm, yeah, this one's like flavorful. Honey, honey. Mm, got the oak, got the oak barrel there too. I Oh, the smells intense. Yeah, usually it's honey. I mean, it's pretty intense though. For the morning, gets the blood flowing. Take a seat, Rafa. Come on. Oh, it's tough. Ooh, that's strong. That's very strong. My man, I'm gonna take this one though. SPFC, that one's awesome. Pode separar esse aqui do São Paulo, por favor. Vai levar. They also have a lot of local honey, artisanal honey, right here. They want to take one of these for my mother-in-law. She loves honey. I mean, I love it too, but this is what she asked for for every trip. Bring me honey. Oh, look at this one. This one, the color is so nice. All right, the food is ready. Let's eat tamale, Brazilian style. So, what's the difference? Well, here usually we don't have like fillet, right? So we have the sweet version and the salt version. And this is the sweet version. Yeah, Pamonha is originally from the middle of Brazil, in the state of Goiás. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's very hot. Always. Kench. All right, guys. Tamale. Mmm. They like some sweet cornbread. Mmm. Oh, amazing, my man. Super hot. Very dense. Straight corn. It feels like it's a, like exactly that corn bread, right? This one doesn't have fillings. Oh man, it's so good. I'm a big fan of corn. Corn all day. Ba monya. Mmm. It's sweet. And now, chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. Very sweet. Oh my god, this is like, you heard like, it, this sweet sugar, right? Yes, but it's good, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, very thick, right? So it's, it's just like a, a regular chocolate milk. I'm not gonna compare it to that much because I haven't had chocolate milk like in 20 years, to be honest. I've had like hot milk, but uh, hot chocolate, but not chocolate milk. It pairs well together, right? So you yes. have a little bite? Mm. Oh yeah, this is fantastic. Your turn, bro. Very hot. I like this combination. Mm. This is a uh, breakfast of champions right here. Mm -hmm. Very sweet sabor original. So this is from Santa Catarina, the state of Santa Catarina. So you have to try when you come here. It's called chocolate. Oh man, I haven't had chocolate milk in so long. Very important, always out of the glass bottle. Always. The plastic one, no good. It's basically cornbread. Mm. What the bomb, no? Mm. Wow. All right, last piece. Ooh, still super hot. Very good. Mm. <laughs> Very different from the original one. Yeah. In Mexico, no? Mm -hmm. mm. And I have to flush it all down with some coffee. Amazing. The best coffee in the world in Brazil. Well, I can't really say that, but it is good. Mm. With no sugar, no cream, you get the full taste of the coffee beans. Wow, another great coffee, dude. Amazing. Muito bom. Let's not forget this. Yes. How good this is. Like I said before, my mother-in-law loves this. I have to get her one every trip. Dulce de leche de Brazil. Muy rico. If you guys didn't know, this is huge in Brazil. Obviously, Colombia, uh, Venezuela, all these Latin countries, but wow, look at this. This is amazing. A dollar fifty for this. So it's like little packs, huh? All right, so total price for the food, you know, the wood carving and the honey is fifteen fifty, right? Fifteen fifty. No, that's okay. That's okay. That's right. Obrigado. Wow. Amigo, obrigado. Hola. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. Awesome. Yeah, it's actually a little heavy. I thought it was going to be lighter. Yeah. It's a poco pesante. Un poco. Un poco. Si. But I think this is for my nephew. My nephew is a huge soccer player. Huge. Miami. Inter Miami. Metemos aquí. All right, let's continue this journey to Blumenau. That was great. Dude, amazing. Amazing, huh? Yeah, what a spot. I love it. I, I always love to stop in those places, you know, when you're doing like a, a road trip. So we just entered the state of Santa Catarina. Santa Catarina State, yeah. What is this state about? Man, beautiful, a lot of beaches, uh, mountains, waterfall. It's just amazing, you know, like huge German cologne. Amazing. I love this state, man, so beautiful. Like the, the scenery, you know, like get out of the main road that was leading to Florianopolis and now we get into the countryside of Santa, Cat Santa Catarina State on, the, on our way to Blumenau. One more hour. Yeah, so we have one more hour to go. We're on a very, very narrow road in the middle of nowhere. I mean, it's hard because there's trucks in front of you, you're trying to pass, there's cars coming, so you have to go really, really slow. I mean, we're trying to get to the next. Uh, 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 careful. 
<laughs> so on this road, we're just passing by small little towns, not even towns, they're more like villages. They look very old school German. They always have like a church in the center. Yeah, like agriculture. Agriculture, exactly. And over here, what is this? Oh my God, look at this. Cemetery. Cemetery. Whoa. Very colorful. Very colorful. One more hour. On this road? Yeah, on this road, like 66 kilometers. And the only reason it's taking an hour is because there's so much traffic due to yeah, all the trucks. Bumps, right? Yeah, too many pajos. Too many pajos. Like in Brazil, uh, they're like different types of name, right? Here it's Lombada. In Bahia, we call Saliencia or Redutor de Velocidade. Okay. Yeah, man, many ways to call. Quebra mola. Quebra mola. Quebra mola. But look at this. So you have beautiful. this beautiful, like, it's like a rice plantation almost. Yeah, it, right? it is rice. It is rice, it is rice. Is rice. Yeah. So, like, rice, and then over there you have beautiful palm trees, yeah. mountains, and all the houses are very typical German style. All right. agriculture out here, right? Yes. A lot, of, a lot of cows, pork. You have to pass these trucks. They are making us go so slow. Yes, we made it. Yes. Nice. So this is a, a fruit stand. Oh, coco verde. I love coco verde. Yeah, they have orange, potato. Bom dia. Bom dia. What do you feel like? Yeah. Maybe juice? Juice. Tem suco? Suco não tem ainda. Só vai coco gelado. Ah, pode ser um What are these? Uh, biscuit. Oh, aqua. Ah, So we're going to get some coconut water and I'm gonna try some cachaça. Ah, absolutely. Because this one looks amazing. Oh, no, she wants to show you some. Oh. Vino. Cachaça. Oh. Wow. Cachaça. Vinho. Wow, look at this. Look at all this wine. This is all local wine. Vino local, no? Yeah. Local vino. And then here we have cachaça. So cachaça, sugar cane, liquor. Cachaça de carvalho, cachaça pura. Cachaça com cana de açúcar dentro. Ah, sim? Sim. Uau! Vinho de primeira linha, as conservas, pepino, palmito, Uau. mel. Mel. As, os licores, ó. Licor de maracujá. So they also have spices, they have wine, they have cachaça. I'm gonna have a coco. É. Obrigado. Nada. Uou! Pesante. É. <risos> Abacaxi. Ok. Café, canela, banana, passas e jabuticaba. Grapa também. Questa. Essa é a grapa. Grapa. Essa? Sim. Oh, yes. Try another cachaça. E, e, esta é qual? Cas. Essa é de café. De café. Oh. Muito essa, bom. Essa é muito boa. Essa é muito bom? É. Banana. Isso. Oh. Oh. Boa, né? É banana é, é, é melhor. É melhor? É melhor. <risos> é quanto custa? 20. 20? 20 reais. 20 reais. Isso. Ok. Inteira lá. Inteira lá. Isso. Ei, hey, I'm gonna buy this one. Uno per me. Um banana? Sim, um banana. Four dollars. Yeah, yeah. Four dollars. Você tem a yeah, oh, one shot. No, four dollars for the whole for bottle. For the whole bottle? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, coco. I want the coco. Coco David? Oh. David. Oh. Yeah, David. Well, see, that, David. That, David. Yeah, David. Too. David, too. Oh. Hey, obrigado. Obrigado. Uh, um, um prazer. Um prazer. Nossa, muito legal. Uh, agora, falo um pouco de. Português. Não, Sim. Rola. Mas ele desenrola bem. Ele fala espanhol fluente. Sim. Italiano espanhol. Ah. This, this is like my German grandmother. Ah, <laughs> 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 Você falou que você tem um pouco de espanhol fluente. Você fala espanhol fluente? Sim. 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 Você Beautiful, yeah. helping the community. Exactly. Yeah. So if you want to try cachaça, you can try like 10 different variations right here. I'm buying this bottle. This is the one with banana, 20 real. So that is four US dollars, literally four US dollars. Yes. Amazing. Muito bom. Obrigado. Prazer é nosso. Prazer é nosso. I'm gonna try one more cachaça. 
Prova uma que essa é a outra. Já buscava. Yeah, ja jabuticaba, there's no meaning because it's a Brazilian fruit. So this is a Brazilian fruit. Called jabuticaba. Oh my god. It's so sweet. Yeah, it belongs to the a banana is better, right? Yes, yes, banana is better, yes, yes. I think this one's scary. This is red, a... Hortelã. 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 Mint. Mint. Oh, why not, why not? They're too nice. Mint. Oh. Oh, forte. Forte? Yeah. Banana uh, melhor. Banana melhor. I don't love mint. <laughs> this tastes like one of those mint candies. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously besides the cassassa, the wine, they also have these huge watermelons. Look at this. Watermelon, pineapple, oh, the cocoa, wine. Really incredible spot. This is the best part about road trips. You get to see things like this you never see if you flew into a city. Always support the locals, buy products. You know, for me, I'm all about supporting locals. That bottle is going to my dad, and my friend here is the best. Muito obrigado. Sei especiale. Obrigado, obrigado, obrigado. Everything okay? Everything's perfect. So it was 35 total. I paid 20 for the bottle and then an extra, so basically a dollar for each cocoa. Good deal. Seven dollars total. Support the locals always. All right, guys. It's the theater blooming now. Can't wait. I'm starving now. Now I need to eat some German food. Dude, I can't believe this stuff. Yeah, man. I'm like her. I cry too. Seriously, it's it's for real, man. It's like no. She she started crying. We're all crying. Yes. We just met each other and we're like we're like family. It's crazy. Yes. Yes. She was so nice. So nice. So nice. Man, so happy that you help you know yeah yeah I know I know all right what a day we've driven for three hours and we're about to enter Blumenau German town founded in 1865 I'm very very excited I cannot wait to drink some German beer eat some German food and then after this we're in Florianopolis to experience the Ibiza of South America lots of seafood beaches it's gonna be incredible but yeah today's journey was awesome we tried what was the food we tried we tried the pamonia, it's pamonia. Kind of like a Brazilian tamale, exactly. right? Exactly, like cornbread. Yeah. We also bought some souvenirs in yeah, that shop. Cachaça. Some cachaça, I tried some cachaça twice. Coconut water. Coconut water. And everybody's been extremely friendly. And as you can see, everybody looks very German. Germans came here about 150 years ago. They Correct. started entering. Also, after World War II, more Germans came here. So it's an extremely high German descendant population in Santa Catarina. Correct. Awesome. And the good news that the sun just came out. So it's good. Perfect. Warm. I mean, this is amazing. Tropical, very lush, perfect weather. The air quality, you cannot believe amazing. how good it is. I know. So good. So good. Well guys, if you love this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe my channel for more awesome travel content. We'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Blumenau. Let's go. Prost. 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 <laughs> Saúde. Saúde.